Hey guys, Greg here. Today we're going to be looking at how to install this pretty cool barn door. Just a little bit of information about this door. I actually bought it at Costco and they no longer have them. As a matter of fact, this door doesn't really exist anywhere. It was uh, just a one-time production. I think it was sold exclusively at Costco and it's uh, a rare uh, white finished door with a, with a Z frame. You see how it makes the kind of the, the letter Z there. Most of them that you will see will be a K frame where it comes from the corner to the middle and then back down to the, the uh, same side. This is made by Renan and I'll put a link down in the summary to their website so you can see all the doors they uh, do have. There's a, a number of different manufacturers and if you go to some of your big box uh, hardware stores they've got a lot of doors there you can look at. They also have uh, just the hardware you can purchase if you want to make your own door in whatever style you want. All right, so let's jump into the video. All right, so we're going to hang a barn door right here in this opening. And uh, here's the door itself. Um, so this door is from uh, Renan. So the other things that came with the door, one is the, uh, the back plate that goes on the wall. And then you've got the uh, track that mounts onto the back plate. And then the hardware. And that's it. It's really a pretty simple setup. I'm not going to go through all the uh, instructions in detail. Every door is different. You just need to follow the instructions. But uh, I'll just tell you really quickly what I'm going to do. I'm going to find the, the center point on this back plate. And uh, I'm going to mark the center point on the wall here where it needs to... Uh, in relation to the door opening, which is going to be about an inch, inch and a half over from the uh, opening of the doorway. Then using the instructions, I'll determine the height that I need to uh, mount this back plate, mount it up here above the door, and then uh, I'm going to mount it with screws and I'll put these kind of symmetrically throughout. I think it comes with 10 screws, and uh, but I've marked on the floor here, which is going to be the approximate location of my uh, vent that goes all the way up uh, this wall. So I don't want to put any screws right in this area. So I'll lay my screws out here. Go ahead and pre-drill all my holes so uh, I'm not hitting that uh, vent in the wall. But as you know, I don't have to worry about studs because I put a uh, piece of plywood all the way across. It's like a plywood header runs all the way across the wall. So I don't have to worry about hitting any studs. Once I put that up, then I'll put in my uh, put on my track, and these holes are predetermined where they go. So I'll just center my track on the back plate uh, to use this, and then there's spacers. I'll tell you what, let's look at all the uh, look at all the parts real quick. So it comes with the uh, two rollers. Here's the screws that uh, mount the track to the uh, backboard here. And then you've got a, a, a guide. This guide mounts to the wall and they have a, another guide that'll mount to the floor. You can use either one, but it goes, uh, that's a piece that goes right in the uh, bottom of the door there to keep the door from swinging. Um, in terms of bolts, if you're gonna uh, mount this to a concrete wall, you don't have to use the backboard. You can just mount the track directly through the concrete with these and it's got anchors there. It's got a, a stop you put on each end so you can control exactly where the door stops. It's got one for the right and left. Uh, these are some little safety uh, safety tabs that will spin around and you tighten them down to lock them into place so the door will not uh, jump off the track for any reason. See the bottom uh, hits something and stops and it's got some momentum that can kick the top of the door up and it could potentially come off the track. So it gives me these little safeties for that. Let's see, here's one of the spacers. So this one there, and this will go like that. So you end up with uh, this setup with the door hanging up here and rolling back and forth. And some more tools. There's the, the floor guide if you want to screw to the floor, which I won't be doing on this tile. And uh, yeah, for the handle. These are the screws that mount the backer board to the wall. 
And these are the ones I'll space out across here. So I think that's enough talking. I'm gonna go ahead and mount all of this and uh, hang the door and put the handle on and I'll just do some, uh, some time lapse for that. Show you what that looks like. You know, they don't, they don't show you in the pictures, and it's hard to even find in photos online of people's doors. But there's going to be screws uh, visible on here. I'd rather have no screws. And I suppose I could use it, you know, if this were wood, I could use a different kind of screw, countersink it, and then fill over it and smooth it and paint it. But I think since uh, all my accents are black, that uh, they have these black screws on here along with the black rail, I think it'll be fine. So I just wanted to point that out. So now I'm ready to put my uh, rail up. So I'll go ahead and measure for my rail. It should be just about in the center of that board. But I'm just gonna double check and measure the, uh, the height where the rail is supposed to be. And then uh, we'll go from there. Um, and it'll say in the instructions, but you'll want to uh, measure from the highest point of your floor so your door doesn't get too low and hit the floor at any point if you have a very uh, uneven floor. Mine's fairly level, so that should be good. And that will actually take that back. The floor does sink down a little bit over there, but I'm gonna be measuring from this side, which is uh, the higher, most level point up here. So, uh, yeah, just keep rocking and rolling. top rail made, uh, mounted up there and uh, looks good. So what I did was I, uh, in the instructions that we need to put this up, put the rail up, mark it, take this back down and then put the rail on with it on the floor and then put this, the whole thing back up. So I did not want to do that. So I basically just flipped the rail around backwards so the track was uh, right against the wood and I marked, uh, marked this first hole, drilled it and bolted it in. And then I leveled it and just marked all the remaining holes, drilled them all, and then uh, took this off, flipped it over, and uh, put the spacers in, and bolted it right in. Should be level. We'll find out when I put the door up. Let it be a surprise. Just uh, mounting some uh, door hardware. So I'll do that right now. see the door is up now so just bolted on the uh, rollers here and then the uh, little safeties I just need to tighten these down so you can see they'll, they'll still move around move this door a little bit see there so once I tighten those down and uh, it'll, it'll spin around underneath the rail and keep uh, keep it from coming up off the rail so once I do that, I'll put a, uh, a stop, a little safety stop on each end, and those are adjustable. Then I'm going to put on my handle here, and uh, that's it. The only other thing I have to do is adjust the uh, soft close feature, which uses uh, these little mechanisms under here. So uh, I'll adjust those.
there's my door guide. Two screws right into the baseboard, and then there's a screw on the end where you set the, the depth, uh, the distance away from the baseboard to make sure the door is kind of hanging. And you see, just barely touching the door, it's kind of rocking right in between, right in between that crack. Just barely touching it, and that's perfect. All right, so here is the finished product. Some up close detail here in case there's something you're wanting to see. Here's my door stop. You can see I've got the uh, screws holding up the backer board there. And here's where the rail bolts in, goes through the spacer into the backer board. It's my roller, the roller mount bolts to the door and it hangs right up there. There's a little safety button here, keeps the door from coming off the track. And then there's a little tab here and there's another one over here. And that's what uh, you adjust. Uh, it's gonna hit the slow close feature here. So let's check out this slow close. Nice. And that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe. Leave any comments or questions down below. And we'll see you next time. See ya.